Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to fetch data from an API using MobX. Now, for this I'm gonna be using the random user API, which is free and open for everyone, so you can come to this URL if you wanna see the data and use it yourself. So, I just am getting 10 people and I wanna fetch this data, load it into my state, and then show stuff on the screen in my React application. So, over here is a little application that I have that uses MobX, I'll show you guys. Um, there's one last function we need to implement and that's actually doing the async part and now the thing about MobX is you actually don't need to, any other packages to do async stuff it, it works built in and we'll get to that in a second but first let's look at what I have so this is the index file we're basically just rendering the app component and then the app component here is taking a people store which is my MobX store um, and it's just passing it to my people component and if we go to the people component, um, as you can see, um, let's look at the render function first. I'm grabbing, I have a button here that you can click to load more people. So this is the function I wanna call to basically do the async work, go and load people. And you'll notice I'm calling load people as well when the component's mounting. Um, and then I'm also going through and I'm mapping and for whatever reason, I have an H1 here. We don't need an H1. Okay, so I'm going through the store. I'm getting the people and I'm mapping and I'm calling this function right here. And here I'm just basically taking some of the JSON data and displaying it here. Um, yeah, I'm using the phone number as a key because they don't really give a good ID. So, because uh, some of the IDs are null. So that's what the JSX looks like right there. Um, let's look at what is happening with MobX. So this is the MobX, and you'll notice I have the people here, that is our data, and then I have load people, which is just an action. And what we want to do and what we're going to about to code up is how to actually fetch this from the API and update people. So let's do that now. So whenever we want to call this function, it's going to populate this array here. And then that is what's going to be flow through. So if we click the button or when the component's loaded um, or mounted, we're going to call this function. And that function is going to fetch from the API. And when it gets the data, it's going to put it in this person variable. And then we're going to map through that array. And then we're going to display a bunch of divs of the people that we got data from. So the first thing that I want to do is we can just make this an async function. So, and just call async stuff in the function itself. So it's very easy. So I can say const response, and I can say await, and I can fetch data. Now, I don't have to use fetch. You can use whatever um, HTTP library you want. And then here, I'm just gonna call the function I want, so, or the URL I want. So we're gonna go to this URL here to get the data. Let's paste that in there. Um, and you notice we're using await syntax and then so we're waiting for this to finish once we get the response we can get the json so we'll say response.json um, and then you'll notice the json i just want to get the results which is the array of all the people so what i'd like is to do something like this right this dot people is equal to json dot results um, but that does not work was it results yeah it was results i thought it was result for a second but this does not work and also we need to have a wait here in front of JSON, okay. So we'll correctly get JSON data here, but this will actually cause an error. And the reason for that is you have to do, you have to set, so we're mutating people right here. You have to do any type of mutation of basically the state before you hit your first await. So we could set this dot people to stuff here, right? And that would be fine or if I wanted to say that that's good but as soon as the first await function is called you can no longer do this um, the way you have to get around this is by a function that mobx gives you called run in action so what you can do here is call this run in action um, and then you pass it in array or not array in uh, a function and then in your function, you're just going to do any type of mutation. So this.people is equal to json.results. And bam, we're done. This will work now. 
So this will actually go into this URL, get the JSON data, and then we're updating the state by setting this.people equal to our results. And we had to use this run in action that we get from MobX. Um, so you just note when you're doing this, above the mutate above the first time you call await above it you're fine um, and you can just mutate but after your first await you have to call run in action pass in an array or not an array a function and actually do any kind of mutation inside of this and if we had more stuff like people too or whatever we could you know set that to whatever as well like you're not just limited you can do whatever you want in this function body so let's see this app in action now so cool, we see the people. I can refresh and we can see them load and I can click on load people. And awesome, we are successfully fetching the data from the API. Now there's one last thing I wanna show you guys and that's just like how maybe a common thing is to show like a little loading indicator. So it's very easy to add on to this. So maybe I wanna say loading is false at first in my state and when loading is true, I show an indicator. When it's false, I don't. So we can change that in our people component. So I'm just going to say if this.props.store.loading, we can show a loading indicator. So I'm just using basic HTML, so I'm just going to say div loading. But you could show, you know, a spinner if you wanted here whatever you wanted for when you're loading so then I have my people store here and what I really like to do is that the start of this function load people set loading equal to true and we can just do this dot loading is equal to true and remember we don't need to use this because we're above the await and then after we're done with this we want to say this dot loading is equal to false because we're done loading after that um, and that's it so let's come over here, we can see this in action. So first initial load, you can kind of see loading dot 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 and it goes away real quick. And then we see it fill in nicely. And we don't need a console. So yeah, so you can see we can just keep loaded as many people as we want. And that's it for this video guys. So that's how you do async functions in MobX. No need to use another library. MobX has you covered nicely here. Um, you don't have to use a wait async syntax if you don't want to. You can use dot then as well. Um, but I prefer doing it like this. But you can go ahead and make the API call right inside of your functions like this. And as always, this code is going to be up on GitHub, and I'll put the link in the description below. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.